I have uh, written columns about the WikiLeaks disclosures against Hillary Clinton's campaign. Uh, so much stuff is coming out that it's almost hard to keep up with. And I kind of rattled off a lot of this on uh, Sunday's program. Uh, two different segments. One of them had to do with uh, Donna Brazile, a former CNN contributor, feeding a question in advance of the Clinton campaign. Comments by John Howard of CNBC in communication with John Podesta, uh, the Clinton campaign chairman, uh, in which he seemed certainly uh, antagonistic toward Donald Trump and somewhat sympathetic to the Hillary cause. And then, you know, again, it would take hours, and I, I don't think it's just getting anywhere near enough coverage. People in the Clinton campaign talking uh, in disparaging terms about Catholics, needy Latinos, the head of the NAACP, collusion with the State Department over uh, the way in which certain emails from Clinton confidant Sid Blumenthal would be leaked to the AP, uh, possible even beyond collusion in terms of uh, trading off uh, what the State Department might do in exchange for making uh, emails that Hillary Clinton sent from her private server that had been classified into unclassified emails and a lot of other stuff just about the politics of it um, and one person saying one of Hillary's advisors from the outside uh, saying that she just doesn't come off as credible because she's not genuine in television interviews so a whole lot of stuff to deal with prompting this email from Ben one didn't want his name used, so I'll just call him Ben. The media, including Fox News and you, should be giving at least the same amount of coverage time to the Clinton WikiLeaks scandal as to negativity about Mr. Trump. How else will the public begin to understand the corrupt and self-serving agenda of the Clintons? I watched your program this morning. You need to make a concerted effort to show how corrupt and biased the media is against Trump and their agenda to see Trump defeated. You owe this to your viewers. That is, if you are truly interested in providing fair and balanced coverage. I'm withholding my name for fear of reprisals. That is what our country has come to. Well, I respect that, Ben. And I don't think there is anybody in the press corps who has spent more time over the past 15 months criticizing and critiquing the media for being unfair to Donald Trump, going back to the primaries when lots of people said he wasn't going to win, he wasn't a serious candidate, he was a sideshow, and all of that, and saying that it's gotten a lot worse during the conventions, since the conventions, and now in the coverage of these women. But when you lump all the media together, not all journalists are unfair to Donald Trump, not all news organizations are unfair to Donald Trump. And when you say, you know, it is, it is my job to prove how corrupt the media are um, and their agenda is to see Trump defeated, you know, you're speaking as obviously a very passionate Trump supporter. It is my job to hold the media accountable on both the Trump and the Clinton sides. And that's why I have talked about and will continue to talk about WikiLeaks as these disclosures continue to come out. Now, I'm not crazy about the fact that our election agenda is being driven in part by what are probably Russian hackers feeding this stuff to Julian Assange's group. I've talked about that as well. Um, but I think that, that, that Trump supporters are so angry at the media right now, and maybe at the political system that Donald Trump has been taking on since the day he got in this race, that they think everyone in the press is corrupt, and they think that covering allegations against Trump uh, is, is just not warranted. Katrina Pearson, his spokeswoman, told me that we shouldn't be covering uh, the allegations by these women about sexual misconduct because she believes they are unsubstantiated, although we certainly covered uh, allegations against Bill Clinton in, in the 90s, which of course led up to impeachment. Um, so uh, bottom line is I agree with you on WikiLeaks. It's a little more complicated to explain, and it's a little bit more sort of standard routine Anything from political back scratching to coziness with the press to perhaps outright corruption. Um, but right now, the sexual allegations have been so prominent. And let's face it, the media love to talk about this stuff. They don't particularly like Trump. They get ratings and clicks by doing it, that there is an imbalance, which is what I said on the show. Doesn't mean I have to devote the same number of minutes every week to each story. I'm not running a new show, I'm running a media program. Uh, and I appreciate the feedback.